Hey, what's up everyone? So this is a pump that I just bought, a water pump. Um, let's see if I can get it focused here. 880 gallon per hour submersible by Kedsum. Just delivered a second ago by Amazon. So I'm going to unbox this puppy. And you guys get to watch. I can tell you right now, it's got some nice, it's got a nice heavy weight. Oh, there goes the suction, suction cup feet for it. So this is all that was in the box. One, two, oops, spray nozzle. Let's see, there should be one more. Oh, there it is. So, and then one nozzle. Okay, that goes in here. So, um, yeah, here it is. It was sold by Ketsum, but you see it says Sun Quad water pump, 120 volts. Uh, I can tell you right now, this feels really solid and heavy. So, uh, and this one, it has the adjustable flow rate. So, yeah, I'm going to put this puppy in my uh, hydroponics tank and see what kind of flow we get from the bench rod on it. But right now, I'm pretty impressed. It looks pretty good, pretty solid. Um, normally, I get the more expensive uh, one, the Eco Pumps. Uh, this one has some good reviews on it, and it was only 20 bucks, as opposed to 20, well, a pump this size for Ecosum with this Jeep gallon per hour would have cost twice this amount. So, we're going to put it to the test. Be right back. Alright, so I am outside, and I just opened this, and, um, Got outside, you ready to put it in the thing. And I noticed something. Let's see if I can get the thing. Yeah, it's cracked. So you can see right here it's cracked um, just got this today like literally 10 minutes ago so I don't know if it's gonna matter much because it has some holes right here where it looks like water or something runs through um, but it is cracked and this little piece of plastic does feel a little flimsy so it's not going together properly uh, so I don't know what's up with that it's going to affect its use or what. So um, this part feels a little cheap too. You can hear it. It doesn't feel all that, that durable. Okay, so here's where I'm going to be using this pump. <sighs> I got this big, huge reservoir. for my hydroponic system. That's gonna pump the water up. But, um, so here's the, the eco pump that's in here now. And you can see I have a, I connected a Venturi to it. And uh, it's pretty good low. This is the eco pump. So I'm gonna put this Venturi this whole system right there onto this pump. See which one does better. So you can see the venture eye is right here. Um, and it pushes out bubbles to about right here. So let's say just for a quick measurement from here to here. So I got the venture eye right here. This is the air feeding to it. Um, and the bubbles, let's say the pressure stops about right here. Alright, so I'm going to pause this 
and put this other pump on here, the Ketsum. One thing I do notice that the Ketsum does not have, which I wish it did, is the protective foam on the back right here. This foam, you can see it, this thing has picked up junk that gets caught in the tank. Um, I'm not too concerned with it right now, because, this because I don't necessarily have anything in here. It was, it's been too hot, so there's nothing in here yet. Um, but we'll see if that becomes a problem, not having that foam protection on there. All right, so I'm gonna pause this for a bit, and I'm going to take this nozzle off right here, this whole thing, and just screw it into here. Be right back. Okay, I didn't put the nozzle on yet, the Venturi, but I wanted to show you something. This is a side-by-side -side comparison um, to show you how much this stuff is really pumping out. Here's the old one, the new one, the Eco Pump, and the Sangi from uh, Ketsum. This is like 300 and something gallons. This is supposed to be 800. I don't think you really get 800 from this. Um, but I'm just going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because the price is the price points for both of these pumps are roughly about the same. So you can see the difference. Okay, that's coming straight from the pump with no no holes on the end. So I have the same Venturi connected. There's the new pump. I just laid it on its side so that it wouldn't jet, so it wouldn't jet across. Um, and there it is. So the bubbles are going roughly where here's where it starts. And it stopped, the other one stopped about right here. Here's where it starts. The last pump, this one right here. The bubble started here and it stopped about right here. But with this pump, you can see the bubbles are kind of going all the way around. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this pump. I hope it lasts. Uh, we'll see. It's getting a pretty good airflow coming out. Got that venture eye. And this is going to put dissolved oxygen into the water as well as keep the water flowing around in the tank just to prevent any algae or bacteria from in it. So, all right. Hopefully this uh, pump will keep, stay on. One more time, here it is.